Welcome back to our technology series on return on investment. So we've taken a look at a lot of pieces of technology. We've looked at intraoral cameras, we've looked at soft tissue lasers, CERAC, and three-dimensional imaging. Now the question is, how do you buy it? A couple different ways. The good news is we have options. In your practice, you can choose if you are doing very well and you have a significant amount of funds in your account, to purchase that piece of technology outright. Put it on your credit card like you'd buy anything else in life or cut somebody a check. There are some advantages to doing that if you are buying smaller pieces of technology such as uh, a soft tissue laser that maybe only costs you $2,500. It's easy, you don't have to worry about a bill to pay, um, and you get to write off the entire cost as soon as you've written that check or as soon as you've swiped your credit card. But a lot of the pieces of technology that we've discussed are uh, higher end. Maybe they cost $100,000 or $200,000. And it doesn't become very practical for you to swipe your credit card or write a check for that amount of money. So in the event that you're purchasing a piece of technology that is a larger investment, or even if you have the money to make that purchase and it's a lower amount or anywhere in between, you can finance that purchase. Two ways to finance um, in general. You can either finance through the company that you purchased the equipment with. So if you purchase CEREC, for example, you can finance through Patterson Dental. Now, a lot of times there's an advantage to doing that. Financing through Patterson as a customer who does business with them on a very regular basis, not just for technology, but probably for your disposables like your cotton rolls, your gauze, composite, means you've got buying power and Patterson wants to loan you that money and therefore they have very attractive interest rates for you. So in most offices, even if you have the funds available, it makes sense to finance it and use somebody else's money and simply pay that back on a month to month basis. You write all the cost of the interest off anyway, so utilizing someone else's money, always a good thing. The other option if you're gonna finance is to finance through the bank that you do business with. So if you're a Bank of America customer, you're a Wells Fargo customer, whomever the bank you deal with, uh, if you are a customer in good standing, they have an opportunity to lend you money and they'd like to do it for a low interest rate as well. So when you make your decision to who you're going to finance through, purely look at the relationship that you have with the lender, who makes life easy for you, and who gives you the lowest interest rate. So in a nutshell, those are the three ways to purchase. And most of the time, you're going to find that purchasing through an outside financer is the way to go, unless it's a very, very small purchase and you just need to spend the money at the end of the year for tax purposes.